Hello all my YouTubians and Wolfpack, how are you? Thank you first of all for all the prayers and the energy and the prayer circle uh, yesterday. I really do appreciate it. And the good news is my fever finally broke after a week. So um, thank you for that and thank you for all your energy and support. Uh, I'm feeling feeling better. I mean I got a long way to go yet, but uh, hey, I'm feeling a little bit better today. So this is a good thing. Um, now, today's topic, I, w I wish to talk about uh, the Tide of Three, or the Celtic Trinity, you know, sign. Um, because, someone has said to me, uh, a, couple to, a couple people have said actually, uh, that it's the mark of Satan. <laughs> uh, my avatar and my, my uh, symbol and the symbol in the grove, apparently to them, is a mark of Satan, which is fine. Uh, <laughs> uh, but that's not even possible, okay? And this is why. First of all, demons and angels and Satan, the devil, that's a Christian thing, okay? That's not every other religion in the world thing. That's a one religion thing, okay? So, to say that the Trinity is a mark of the devil is kind of ridiculous. But anyway, let's go on. Here's why. Now, <clears throat> Christianity was probably introduced in Scotland around the Roman occupation. Okay? Um, in the 6th century AD, okay, so 600 years after the death of Christ, um, a group of missionaries from Ireland, okay, uh, were operating in the in the British uh, mainland. You know, uh, that was right uh, roughly around 670 A.D. Okay, the U.K. didn't even know about Christianity until 600 A.D. Okay. And there was only a hand few with that, okay? Uh, if you think about the times, and if you were in the times, Christianity would be what we'd call today uh, a new fad religion, okay? Wasn't even heard of before that. So it would be like a new wave of religion, okay? Um, so let's jump across the pond, okay? We'll jump across the pond to North America. Now, as early as the 1520s, okay, 1520s, Roman Catholic priests were in Florida, all right, in Chesapeake. By 1595, there was some serious missionary work going on in Florida and in the surrounding areas. In New Mexico, Christianity didn't arrive till it was. Uh, the Franciscan uh, friars who accompanied the Spanish conquerors in 1598, okay? So a lot of these countries, uh, in the UK, uh, Greenland, Iceland, Africa, North America, South America, never even heard of, heard of Christianity really until at least 1000 AD, okay? So, back to the UK, however. Uh, initially, uh, the Christianity that developed in Ireland and Scotland, and they formed the Celtic Church, okay? And it was around the mid-7th century, okay? So, 7th century after... Now the church was formed, okay, so 700 years before it even became an official church in the UK. And in the uh, 1700s, okay, the words, she has Satan in her, were spoken at a trial, okay. 
okay, in the 17th century, yeah, okay, so, now, I'll explain, I want to talk about the treaty itself and the origins and stuff like that to show you that they can't be combined. You cannot take uh, one religion and put it on top of another religion, okay, and say that that's the law. It doesn't work that way, okay? Everyone has a right to believe what they wish to believe, including you, including me, okay? Now, you may take different parts of religion that you believe in and make it part of your religion, right? But you cannot force your religion on everybody else. That's just not. In fact, in the Christianity, freedom of choice is the most important gift. You can't force your beliefs on other people, right? Do not judge. That's another one. Do not judge the splinter in your brother's eye before removing this, the log from your own eye. And, of course, treat others the way you wish to be treated. These are monumental cornerstones of that particular religion, in my opinion only. Okay? In my opinion. Okay, so anyway. In the ancient culture, the Celtic Trinity Knot, also known as the Taquaria, which in Latin means three-cornered or triangular, okay, which I don't know why you want to apply it Latin to Celtic, but hey, you know, as you wish. Um, it is one of the most popular symbols, okay? Like Celtic knots, okay, the Trinity is a continuous line of interwoven that is within itself. So in other words, you start at one point and you don't lift your pen off the paper till you're finished. It's a continuous line. Okay, and it's woven into this, okay? Um, and this, of course, symbolizing that there's no beginning and there's no end. It is often recognized like leaves uh, that are formed and untied, but they're together, right? And sometimes a circle is drawn around it to show unity of the three that have joined together for a purpose. <coughs> so you might see, you might see the Trinity knot without a circle, okay? That may mean, and not necessarily mean, that may mean that a group of three came together for one particular purpose to sort out one situation. When you have a circle around it, it means they are all working together on many different things. Okay, and their uh, basic beliefs are are harmonizing together. Okay, uh, being as integrating as the Celtic Trinity Knot looks, its origins, developments, and meaning also make great facts. Okay, if you actually want to look into the history of other cultures and look into the history of the belief system. Um, for anyone who loves learning cultures and heritage, this is a, this is a good start. It's a good point, you know. Uh, to those who first owned the Celtic Trinity Knot, the Celts three is an important number. Okay, so to a lot of Celtic people, um, three is a very important number. Okay. Um, because it represents the significant aspects of life. Therefore, anything that comes in three, okay, including three leaves tied together, is regarded as three life stages, okay? Uh, for an example, you have the three, right? So you'd have life, death, and rebirth, okay? Or earth, sea, and sky, okay? Grandparents, parents, and children, grandchildren, another three, right? Um, husband, wife, children. It's a representation of three, the Trinity, okay? 
Um, another one would be Earth, Sea, and Sky, Past, Present, and Future. That's another another one that it it a lot of of different people use it for past, present, and future. Okay. Um, the circle surrounding the leaves symbolizes harmony upon these three parts. So these three things work together. Okay. Uh, when the early Christians adapted the, the, the Celtic triangle, okay, or the knot, they repurposed it to another meaning in which three points are believed to be the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Now this itself is in parted into the Christianity, okay? So a lot of Christians believe that it means Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, and that's exactly what it means. It's a well-documented fact. Now, not all Celtic people would say, yeah, it's Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, because that was a more modern thing, okay? However, every Celtic person will accept that because it is a trinity of three, okay? Whether or not they practice that part of it, that's totally up to them, right? Because three is the number, and if it comes in threes, it's part of that, okay? Uh, two pagans, witches, Wiccans, um, it represents a goddess image to, to, to a lot of them, which is the mother, the maiden, and the crow, right? Respectively, the meaning would be creation with mother, the maiden of innocence, and the crone with wisdom, right? So they're all involved in the meaning, meaning and they all are symbolized within the circle, okay? Uh, moreover, to many people, the endless loops on the Celtic Trinity knots are seen as a representation of eternal love and commitment, okay? As the leaves are tied together, regardless of past, present, and future, okay? And they represent past, present, and future. So when a couple wears the rings or wears these symbols that they have made, they're vowing to each other. And the vow is to love, protect one another throughout those times of past, present, and future, right? So that it is a strong tie to love and respect. Okay? It contains lots and lots of meaningful messages, okay? Some of them can be life cycles of life, death, and rebirth. Some com uh, promises with family, father, mother, and child. Some passage of time, past, present, future. Uh, it depends on who owns it, okay? What it represents for them. You know, and it can represent many different things, not just one, okay? There's also no limit to how you translate this symbol when you keep it. Whether you're a Christian, a pagan, or another religion, or a follower of the Trinity not, uh, you can carry your own personal stories and values in the knot, okay? Um, the Celtic knot is a symbol of protection, Okay, the symbol basically scares away evil people, evil plans, evil spirits, okay, and evil doers, right? <clears throat> it re represents wholeness, strength, and victory, right? So, in more recent more recent times, the Christian missionaries arrived and it became recognized as the symbol of the Holy Trio, meaning the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Uh, the, now, this symbol <laughs> started to appear more frequently in the 5th century, okay? Uh, whereas the spirals appeared much earlier, so, so the three of uh, as early as 600 BC, okay? So, these things have been carved in stone since 600 BC, right? 
there are different different opinions on on this, uh, but the basic understanding is that the unending knot symbolizes the unending cycle of life, and the points that intercede, okay, uh, shows independence of what it means. So it shows you have all this independence along with working in the group. Okay. Um, so it's basically an interconnection between the physical and the spiritual and the aspects of who we are, of our beings. <clears throat> Uh, for example, the Celtic knot, and I'm reading this, uh, for example, the, the Celtic knot or simulation of the three law of Trinity knot is the interconnection of the three planes of experience. So in other case, in other words, the knot also represents three of the main things of us, mind, body, and spirit, okay? So it also represents our mind, body, and spirit. So let's think about this in the history of the Trinity Knot. 600 B.C. Okay. Satan, uh, how can this be? Right? Uh, there wasn't even demons as far as the Celtic people were concerned back then. Okay. The Celtic Knot was used as a blessing to remind us that we we're all connected and for protection but from evil spirits evil people evil energies and evil doers as for Satan and demons they did not even reach the shores of the UK until 600 AD okay so basically what I'm saying is there's no connection Simple history proves that, that there is no connection. <clears throat> Do I believe in the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost? 100%. 100%. And you're never going to hear me say anything against them, and I'll never turn my back on them, okay? Just as I will never turn my back on my YouTubians or my wolf pack. You know, it's all part of my, my belief system, okay? Um, so basically what I'm saying is feel free to believe whatever you like I'm quite happy with that uh, I'll never judge you okay uh, I'm not going to tell you what you should or shouldn't believe or anything like that that's none of my business your belief is your belief be proud of what you believe okay but you cannot shove your belief onto other people and other religions okay can't be done um, so like I said, I do not judge you, so, you know, in return, don't judge me, you know, thank you. Um, you might think of asking next time, before condemning one million Celtic people, you know, uh, you might think of asking, what does this symbol mean? <laughs> you know, instead of just assuming that it means what you see from your perspective. It doesn't, you know, things aren't always black and white. And things aren't always the way you think they are. Sometimes they have nothing to do with you. And in fact, there are hundreds of different symbols and pictograms and stuff that have nothing to do, nothing, with many, many religions, not just Christianity, but many religions, okay? You gotta understand, Christianity is one religion. It's not every religion, okay? And some religions have been here, you know, forever, basically, okay? So, please don't judge other people. I mean, that's not cool, okay? But, you know, I hope that this helps enlighten some people. I hope some people understand the meaning uh, of the Trinity Knot. Okay, and what it, what it actually represents uh, from 600 B.C. to today even, uh, what it represents, okay? It basically says 
when three come together to focus on one thing, the energy is a lot stronger than times by three. It's time by 333, right? So it just means when everyone works together and everybody has the same goal in mind, it makes it much more stronger, much more powerful, and it gives it much more energy. And that's what the Trinity is all about, okay? And like I say, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, that is a Trinity. That belongs, you know, it can fit in and pretty much has. A lot of Christianities, especially in the UK, have adopted that as the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, right? So, just keep in mind, sometimes it's, it's, it's good to, to ask out, to ask for information uh, before you judge, condemn, and execute somebody, okay? The Trinity is a holy artifact, okay? Which represents three working unitedly for good, okay? That's what it means. And it wards off bad things. Okay. <clears throat> now, nowadays, yeah, it can be considered to ward off demons and the devil and all that. But when it was made, until 600 years after Jesus passed, there were no demons. Okay, just evil spirits, evil doers, evil forces. There were no demons. No such thing. Satan definitely did not exist. Okay. <laughs> So, keeping this in mind, I hope it helps you to understand why it is important to me, okay? It doesn't have to be important to anyone else. It doesn't have to mean anything to anyone else. But to me, the importance of the Trinity and a lot of other ancient Scottish and Irish Celtic symbolisms mean a lot because for me all right for me i believe in my heritage and i'm not changing that for nobody i believe in the trinity of the father son and the holy spirit i ain't never gonna deny that and i believe in my youtubians and wolfpack there's my trinity okay i will not change who I have been my entire life and the things I believed my entire life just because you don't like it <laughs> means nothing whether or not you like it or not means nothing to me but it does mean a lot to me it means everything to me so please you know if if you can't respect and not judge me which I will never even if you do I'm not going to judge you I'm not going to tell you anything what you should or shouldn't do okay but if you still feel the need to do that then please just stay away from my channel stay away from me and we'll get along fabulously but uh, I'm never gonna judge you bless you okay uh, blessings to all love light and peace and may peace be with you see ya see ya amen <laughs>